What's going on guys, Angel here. Welcome back to my Cigar Lounge. Today is September 16th, 2024. It's actually a Monday at currently 9.22 a.m. Early morning smoke, mainly because it feels really good right now. It's quiet, it's really peaceful right now. It literally is the perfect temperature to me. Uh, it's 63 degrees with the breeze, so don't mind the wind noise. I may start putting my uh, dead cat on here so it blocks out the wind noise. Today we have a special cigar and I have two other special ones coming on the way that are even better than this one. This is the Monte Cristo 1935 Anniversary Nicaragua Number no. 2. I know it's a hell of a name, but uh, this one I am very excited to check out. It just sounds amazing. This sounds like literally right up my alley. The last Monte Cristo I had, or Monte Cristo I had, was incredible it was i think this afrique sublimation i think it's actually discontinued it was super creamy i bought this off of cigars daily website uh so shout out to tim all of their staff and crew out there they do an amazing job the packaging was great he added in a, a tegra boost uh humidity pack it was a uh, 69 percent so he had it in there but check that out i just want y'all to look at it really quick this was number two uh pick for 2021 uh, of Cigar Aficionado, it had a 95 rating. Let's go ahead and talk about a little bit of the notes of the cigar as well as what's going on with it. It's supposed to be a medium to full body stick. It is actually a Nicaraguan Puro, which I am very excited to check out because they use Cuban seeds. They just merged those seeds over into, I guess, Nicaragua. They grew them there. And so this is pretty much basically a Cuban cigar, essentially. Uh, I know Romeo y Julieta or y Julieta, they also do them they also do this as well as a nice amount of other honesty cigar companies use Cuban seeds, but this is a Nicaraguan Puro. So I don't think I've had a Nicaraguan Puro. If I have, uh, I can't remember which one it was, but this is going to be my second Monte Cristo from the house. It ran me $19 and I think 56 cents is pretty much a $20 stick. And I think it runs for 176 and five cents on the official Monte Cristo website. So if you want to pick up a pack of 10 and you really like these, uh, I really like that it's in the torpedo shape and it did come in the uh, cellulose wrapper, which was a really nice touch. I actually really like the sticker on it as well. It looks beautiful. I did leave my lighter inside because I don't want it to get cold. Randomly, it'll get cold and all of a sudden it doesn't want a light. So I said, no, let me go ahead and wait and I'll leave it in the house. Again, this is Nicaraguan Puro. So some of the notes in here are going to be uh, leather, raisins, molasses. Uh, it's going to have woody notes as well as a little bit of pepper. Uh, some roasted nuts. Uh, there's also, it says there's sweetened coffee in here. It's just a lot of amazing notes. And I am so excited to light this thing up. And it was right at the end of 2020 when they actually kind of released this. Another one of AJ Fernandez. This guy, is, he's always killing it in the cigar game. I, I hope to meet him one day. I mean, this dude does some amazing work. It also says there's notes of leather, oak. Uh, I don't know if I said that already. And you also have baking spices as well as even chocolate. So yeah, I, I mean, you can tell by just the color of it. You can literally smell it through the cellulose. This is also a box press cigar. It is a six by 52 inch, so not too big, not too small. I'm really glad it is the torpedo shape because I really love torpedo and we're gonna be doing a V cut on that today. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and take a look at it really quick and go, go ahead and open this up. Gotta hold these things preciously. You know, these are handmade, like most cigars, they are handmade. So you just gotta be a little bit careful when you're getting this out of the cellulose wrapper. After this though, I am gonna go to bed because like I said, I work nights. So because I work nights, I can usually do these in the morning. After I did eat, I made sure to eat because this is pretty much a full body stick. Let's just take a look at it, closer look at it really quick. I don't know, one of these may be the thumbnail. <laughs> Beautiful wrapper, looks literally like cocoa or really like coffee, honestly, it looks like ground coffee. Beautiful wrapper. Again, number two cigar aficionado. I'm gonna take a picture of this, post it on the gram really quick for my peoples. And uh, after that, like I said, we're gonna go ahead and cut it and we'll get this thing lit. It smells pretty strong. It also does smell a little bit like, honestly like dark chocolate, to be honest. All right, guys, I went ahead and grabbed my dead cat. I'm gonna to try to put it on really quick. I thought I put it on, but it seemed like it got loose really fast. I feel like I'm gonna need it because it is pretty windy out here. So I think this is really gonna help. Uh, let me know how to, 
Oh yeah, it keeps coming off too. So I'll try to figure out maybe in the future how to get this thing locked in. You may, oh, you know what? Hold on, give me a second. You have to twist, you have to twist it to lock it in. So I think we're good now. It's also supposed to have notes of cinnamon. I forgot to mention that, but it pretty much has every note that I would want except caramel. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get this V-cut started. Uh, first time doing V-cut on a torpedo. Here we go. Ooh, I'm getting back to my old self already. Check out that cut. Very good V cut. You know, this is going to be really nice on the mouth. Just saying because it's going to have like a, it's like literally perfectly shaped for the mouth. All right, let's go ahead and get this thing lit, man. I don't want to waste no time this time. I'm, I don't want to waste no time this time because I actually want to kind of get this one lit and uh, just enjoy it. I'm very excited for this one. I will be having a pairing for this one as well. I'm going to be doing the same uh, e &J Brandy from last time, the 10 year. Let's go ahead and get this thing lit. Oh my gosh. <laughs> mm. Just a little bit of spice, just a tad bit of pepper, but man, hold on. That is so good. Just from the opening alone, I'm already getting hit with like, I actually think I'm getting chocolate for the first time. That's incredible. Hold on. Wow. Monte Cristo is Monte Cristo, Monte Cristo, Monte Cristo. Monte Cristo is pretty much right under Arturo Fuente for me. And man, it delivers every time. So with the opening, first things first, it's already burning great just from the opening. But I must say, I think my favorite part so far about it is that there's a slight little kick in the throat, right at the back of the throat. It's a little bit, nothing heavy. Oh, <laughs> what it's, it's creamy. This is why I love Monte Crisco, man. It's always a creamy smoke. The Afric sublimation that I had was beautiful. And this size, this is how I know this is the type of cigars that I like. I know I don't really like that regular just tobacco. The Oliva uh, Serie V was great. It had a great bready note, but this right here is literally what I'm looking for. Wow. Super creamy. I will talk to y'all. Man, I literally am getting chocolate. Wow. All right, I'll talk to y'all in the first third. Man, y'all, when I tell you, <laughs> this might be one of the best cigars that I've ever smoked. First of all, the ash is beautiful. The burn is great. It was like kind of trying to canoe a little bit and then that kind of went away. Uh, that went away actually pretty quickly. This first third, I'm already getting coffee. I'm getting a little bit of breadiness, tiny bit of spice, nothing crazy. I imagine this may heat up in the uh, final third for sure. Uh, coffee is definitely starting to come forward for sure now. I mean, I don't know. I don't want to say it's worth $20 just yet. Uh, it is kind of windy, so the ash may fall. There was a bee right there, and then he, I guess he saw me and he was like, okay, I'll leave you alone. Wow, that flavor is insane. It literally smells like ground coffee too when I'm like, the retro hail, as well as just blowing the smoke out, is a creamy smoke on top of that. It's quiet out here. I hear the sound of the wind going through the trees. This right here, this is what it's all about. Oh my goodness. Also, I think we're only like seven minutes in. We're really about like 10 minutes in because I made the timer a little late. So we're about 10 minutes in. It is burning relatively quickly. 
for a six incher it is burning pretty quickly uh so i don't think this is going to be a long smoke with that being said i mean i i don't have any issues at all right now like this is what i'm looking for in a cigar the ash is beautiful like i said i have a feeling it's probably going to fall just because of the wind but i at least wanted to get this footage for you all to let you all see how well the build quality and like i said i think that this sticker is beautiful i, I love all of those like higher up ones even the padrone looks beautiful uh, i hope they get that one soon i really want that opus x arturo fuente i really want that one and um there's a somber somber mesa brule blue i was trying to get it on cigars daily website it's out of stock it's kind of hard to get i'm not gonna lie some of these ones these dessert stick uh cigars are a little bit harder to get i'm noticing that And there goes the freaking ash. I'll talk to y'all in the second, third. I'm in the second, third right now. I'm trying to get this freaking band off because I'm literally down to the, like, band. Like, it's about to burn. And I'm trying to get it. That's how I know I really enjoy it. But I'm trying to get this thing to come off. And it's super, super sticky. I don't know why it is this sticky. But they, uh... <laughs> This is way too sticky, so I got to mark a point for that. Uh, construction, otherwise, is really good. The draw is perfect. Uh, I just need to get the sticker off because I don't want this thing to burn. Uh, the ash actually came off because I was it was windy and I was trying to get this thing off, but it's I'm actually struggling to get the freaking sticker off of this thing. It's not even really hot to the touch or anything, so that's how I know the construction is great, but... Uh, Oh, here it goes, here it goes, here it goes. I, all I have to do is slide it off. It's not gonna actually come off though. Okay, but still, it's really tight on there. Like, that's a little too tight. That was almost too close for comfort. Now we just have, we're in the second third now, and I'm getting just everything. I'm getting dark roast coffee. I'm getting bready notes. I literally, it smells like freaking coffee. It's crazy. Uh, it smells like coffee grounds, not like coffee, but it smells like coffee grounds and it is just incredible. This is like the first time where I'm like almost speechless besides when I had my Atua Fuente, the Don Carlos, that one was hit. That one was really good. Uh, I really want to try the Casa Cuba. It's, that's another hard one to actually get. I saw there was a Casa Cuba shark and apparently they're only like available in Vegas at Caesars Palace. And I think maybe in like Florida, really hard to get, very hard to get actually. The rarity on those is pretty rare. Great construction, feels good in the hand. That box press is beautiful. I know some people aren't a fan of box press, but this is perfect in the torpedo shape. It's just easy to hold. Honestly feels like you're like holding like a pin. It's incredible. Uh, like I said, I'm getting coffee, bready notes. I am getting some woodiness as well. The spice is still there in the background, not too heavy, but it is still there. It's not strong though, but it's really nice. It's like more like a pepper note. It's not really spice. It's more of a peppery note, like black pepper. And today we will be having the e j 10 year brandy. <laughs> but yes, this is it right here from the last video. Like I said, I use this to actually cook a lot, uh, but it is aging pretty well. Honestly, for it to be only 30 bucks, this is a steal. I mean, it's 750 milliliters. And the notes in here, you get caramel, brown sugar. I think this is gonna honestly pair even better than the Oliva that I had. We're gonna do a little, I'm not gonna do a lot at all. I just wanna see how it tastes with it. Ooh, bro. I think this might be beating my Arturo Fuente at this point. But for the price, I just don't know if it's, like they said, $20, this thing is burning fast. We're only in we're only like 30 minutes in this thing and it's already we're almost we're already at the halfway point and everything all right here we go wow like toasted caramel with this nice vanilla and then you get the coffee from the cigar. But I will talk to you all in the final third. All right, guys, we're closing in on the final third here. Check out the freaking ash on this thing. 
incredible. The burn is like literally razor sharp. Still getting those creamy smokes. I'm getting more woody oak notes. Uh, I'm also getting this kind of roasted nuts. And I'm still getting that little bit of like bready note. 100% understand why this was now number two. I don't know what number one was for 2021, but this is great. It is starting to ramp up a little bit. I do feel it like it's heating up, but it's still like somewhat cool to the touch. Like I'm even at the end here and it's not hot at all. I am so glad that I picked this one up. I'm glad that I read the reviews. Um, and it's always good to still search for those ones. I wouldn't say it's worth $20, especially because of how quick it burns. I would say if this was like a 12 to $13 stick, oh my goodness, like, I'm pretty sure so many people would be buying this if it was, I, I could see this literally being out of stock a lot if this was like a 12 to $13 stick. I could easily pay that much for it. $20 is definitely kind of steep for something like this. Like I said, it burning easy or burning quickly for it to be pretty much a $20. I've never had Placencia. I hear a lot of great things about that company as well as Padron. Let me know if you've had this one in the comment section below, what you think of it. I'm gonna brush my teeth after this and that's gonna be that. But until next time, peace out.